Happy Wednesday. Hello. Welcome to Godcast. I'm Charlie, and I just read a chapter a day out of God's Word, and a chapter a day keeps the false teachers away. So you got to really know what's in God's Word to be able to live by God's Word. I choose the New American Standard Bible. It's the, uh, the closest you can get to the original scrolls and tablets. And uh, it was painstakingly compiled. And in a way, and at a time where um, that was vitally important to the people who were doing the work. Unlike now, which is uh, questionable. And it was after the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered that this was all put together. So it's as close as you can get to the original scrolls and tablets. God's actual word as was written. Um, not as interpreted or translated by somebody who might have oh, worldly motives. It's going on now. It's happening now. My people are reading those versions and not really getting God's true word. So I'm reading from you the New American Standard Bible. John chapter 3. Lord God in heaven, please open our hearts, our minds, our ears, and let us really hear your word and explain to us what it means through your Holy Spirit. I ask for your Holy Spirit to be here with all who are watching and with me now, Lord, in your name, Christ Jesus. Amen and amen. All right, John chapter 3. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know you've come from God as a teacher, for no one can do these things that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Well, as you can imagine, Nicodemus is a little puzzled by that. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? He cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born, can he? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from and where it is going. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said to him, Are you the teacher of Israel and do not understand these things? Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak of what we know and testify of what we have seen, and do not accept our, you do not accept our testimony. If I told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven. But he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man, as Moses lifted up the spirit of the wilderness, even so the Son of Man must be lifted up, so that whomever believes will in him have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall perish, shall not perish rather, but have eternal life. There's the famous John 3.16. I'll say it again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. He who believes in him is not judged. He who does not believe has been judged already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. This is the judgment that the light has come into the world, and men love the darkness rather than the light, for their deeds were evil. For everyone who does evil hates the light, and does not come to the light, for fear that his deeds will be exposed. But he who practices the truth comes to the light, so that his deeds may be manifested as having been wrought in God. After these things, Jesus and his disciples came into the land of Judea, and there he was spending time with them and baptizing. 
John also was baptizing in Anon near Salim because there was much water there and people were coming out and being baptized for John had not yet been thrown into prison. Therefore, there arose a discussion on the part of John's disciples with a Jew about purification. And they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, he who is with you beyond the Jordan, to whom you have testified, behold, he is baptizing and all are coming to him. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing unless it has been given him from heaven. You yourselves are my witnesses that I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent of him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, who stands and hears him, rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. So this joy of mine has been made full. He must increase, but I must decrease. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth is from the earth and speaks of the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all. What he has seen and heard, of that he testifies, and no one receives his testimony. He who has received his testimony has set his seal to this, that God is true. For he whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. He who believes in the Son has eternal life. But he who does not obey the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. That's chapter 3. All right. Wish you all the best. See you tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific time for chapter 4, John. Till then, may God bless you and keep you. See you on the radio.